you're watching this video because you've already worked through the first two Mini Ray 2 videos. So, let's just play what we already know. You ready? First three lines of the piece. Ready? Play! And here we are, ready to learn the fourth line, the last line of the first chunk. Set your fourth finger on, please. Nice, strong pinky, which we've been working on for ages, right? All the way back to lightly row. Four, three, two, one, A. Just tap your fingers on. Four, three, two, one, A. All on the A string. Want to have a look at the music? Okay. Not a bad idea to have our spatial relationships working. So here's our fourth finger on A. Okay, the note that we're playing is E, and right now we're not playing open E because that would sound bad. Playing fourth finger on A to make that E sound. Four, step down, three, step down, two, step down, one, step down, A. Four, three, two, one, A. So it's good to look at the notes stepping down one by one. Okay, that really helps us. And then we can think about our fingers stepping down one by one. Four, three, two, one, A. Jump back up to three. Three, two, one, A, three. That's stolen straight out of menu A1, so that's old. We can do that easily. A, one, two, huh. three quavers fitting into one beat. So they're triplets. Ya, da, da. We know those from playing elephant, 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 elephant. Oh, that's easy. Elephant, A, one, two, cross over to D string, D, two, three. So. Our whole line goes four, three, two, one, A, three, two, one, A, three, A, one, two, D, two, three. Cool, we can do this. Always good to have a little bit of a sing. You don't need to like sing a whole opera, but just putting your voice around the notes that are inside your head is another way of accessing that information. So it's good to have those relationships working through your brain. Set fourth finger on, let's play. My turn first. Ready, set, play. Cool, let's go again. Make sure you've got a really good low two. Sometimes it's hard to pull it back away from the third finger. Have a whole tone there. Ready, fourth finger, go. Easy? I thought so. One more time. Okay, next little bit. My turn first. I'm at the tip of my bow. Put third finger on and walk down. That's easy. Third finger on A string. Three, two, one, A, three. Okay, we're walking down the G major scale. Go. And again, set at the tip. Make sure you go up bow first. Ready, play. Ooh, my bow's a bit slippery at the tip. That didn't feel nice. Mm, if you wasn't your bow today. Sometimes I forget. Probably better to put a little bit on every day though than like lots once a week. It's a bit like practice. Yeah, a little bit every day, not three and a half hours once a week. Okay, again. Oh, now I'll be able to stick my bow on at the tip. Oh, it's not moving, that's nice. Third finger on A, ready, play. I know it's not really staccato in the music, but it's helpful when we're learning. Let's put those two bits together. Four, three, two, one, A, three, two, one, A, cross. Ready, set, play. And again, ready, set your fourth finger, play. Oh, listen to mine. I wonder how many ringing notes you hear. I hope you heard four. I hope you heard this note. Because it's... Okay. Ah, so our sympathetic... 
sympathetic resonance is hard at work. Let's play the next little part. Allison, your boat only goes down. Down, 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 like that. Three notes in there. Go, open A first, let me hear the A nicely. Elephant, ready, go. Cool, a little faster, like elephant, ready, go. Yes, slow bow, fast fingers, ready, go. How do we slow the bow down? Ah, if you make it a little bit heavier, it will move more slowly. Ready, go. Yes, again, ready, go. Now stay there and over to the D string. Up, up, down, ready, try. Did you remember the fingers? D, two, three is what we're playing. Again, D, two, three, go. Let's try sticking the elephant onto the front of that. Ready, open A, down bow, go. Cross. And again, ready, play. Cross. Okay, do you think we can put the whole line together? I think we probably can. Four, three, two, one, A, three, two, one, A, three. Elephant up, up, down. We can do this, simple. Ready, set, play. Oh wow, let's go again. Fourth finger on, check it out. Make sure it's right up on its tip. Okay, we don't want this. Oh, this is not good. This is ugly. I don't want to see that. I really want your hand to be around your violin. Okay, fingers on top. Ready, play. Elephant go. Up, up. Right, I think that was the third time. Hope it was the third time. I'm going to say it was the third time so I can keep count. Ready, play. Again, after I move a beat across. Ready, set, play. Three. Elephant up, up. Whoa, beat across. Hmm. There's only four left, that was fast. Fourth finger on, ready, play. Only three to go. Ready, set, play. Down, up, up. Two to go. All right, check that posture. Wrist around in front of your violin. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, my wrist is definitely in front of my violin, not here. No, this is not good posture. Over here. Thanks. Ready, set, play. Hearing my ringing threes and fours. Last time, see if you can hear yours this time. Ready, set, fourth finger on play. Congratulations! You can now play the first half of Minuet 2. Woohoo!